Oh hi, good morning to you. Welcome back to another one of my videos. If you are new here, my name is Louise Pentland and I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle. And if you're an oldie but goldie, come on in and get comfortable. You know the drill. Um, please do make sure that you are subscribed and you have hit the notification button. I never normally ask that kind of thing, but it makes such a huge, huge difference to my channel. So I would really appreciate it if you would take a second to click that right now. Um, this video is going to be a bit of an old school haul, but with a try on. Um, you might have noticed I am all a plus size, uh, but I still like to look nice and I still believe that whatever size you are, you deserve to look and feel lovely. I typically shop in places like ASOS, Simply B, Next, John Lewis, um, Joni, um, those sort of places that cater to plus size um, styles. Um, but somewhere that I very rarely shop is River Island and I went on the other day to see what their plus size um, selection was like and there were some things in there that I was like yes I'll give those a go and um, I haven't shopped there for a while and I'll tell you why, I'll tell you for why, name that sitcom, um, it's because I have had some negative experiences with River Island in the past, either clothes not fitting very well um, or the clothes just not really being my style and as I've grown older, I'm 35 now and I used to shop there a lot when I was sort of late teens, early 20s, I've found that I have come further and further away from the style of clothes that they have there. And something else I really don't like about the clothes, um, but I spoke to someone else and they were like, oh, I love that, but they were significantly younger from me. In fact, that is my daughter who is nearly 10, so a solid 25 year age difference. And that is that they often have RI on everything for River Island. So like on the bands of clothes or on bags and things like that. Um, and I prefer generally not to have branding showing unless it's like, some sort of incredible amazing brand like my little Gucci bag I'm like oh yeah that's my little Gucci bag um I asked online on my Instagram what you thought of it um and the general opinion is that things are overpriced tiny sizes uh we'll see <laughs> um some people say I love the bags coats and suitcases jeans are made quite small um some people seem to really love it, some are not keen, but the general vibe is too expensive and it runs small. So, um, why don't we just crack on, we'll do a bit of a try on. I had a big old haul with this, um, so let's open her up. I ordered this a while ago, so I've been sat waiting for this video, so it'll be a little bit of a surprise to me. Oh look, oh look at all those goodies in there, they look fun. So, some shoes. We'll get to those in a minute. If I put them on my bed, are you all going to be like, oh, superstitious, don't put your shoes on the bed. A white dress, excited to try this on. A rainbow cardi, a spotty dress, a pink jumper, black coated jeans, <laughs> and a sparkly bardo top. So I typically range from anything between an 18 and a 24, which I know is a huge size, ra size range, but different shops, different sizes. Um, I bought this beautiful jumper in a size 20. So we will see what this looks like. First impressions are it feels nice. I like the sleeves on it. I really, really love this collar. I think that that was the selling point of it for me. Imagine it with a little necklace just here, like a little, in fact, let's put one on. Oh yes, look at that. I really like this actually. I think it would probably look better tucked into something, but that's not the jumper, that's me. This is like a part of my body that I always feel quite self-conscious of. Um, but yeah, I like this a lot. I like that the sleeves have got that little puff to them, so you feel a little bit like, oh, I'm so whimsical, a bit of interest. Um, yeah, even I think with a ponytail, that would look really nice. Yes, this is a winner, and I like this a lot. Whilst I've got my jeans on, shall we go for the rainbow top? Ta-da! I really like this. I was expecting to think that it would feel itchy and it doesn't and I don't have anything on underneath this. I think it would look nice with a little cami and undone but I don't have a cami on so I just thought I'll put it on like this. It is three quarter sleeves so if you were going to wear something long sleeved underneath it you would need to roll those up. 
Um, I really, really love the pearl buttons of it. Um, I really like that it's got the pink trim. That's very my kind of vibe. I think it's a really nice length. Um, sits just over your bottom. I don't like tops that are like this because of this bit, the old jibbly dunt, if you will. Um, so yeah, this is such a winner. I absolutely love this. Like, I'm having a moment. I'm having a cardi moment here. Um, oh, and oh. I was, I was so close to having a full cardi moment. I thought it had pockets, but it doesn't. It just has little fake pockets, although thwarted once again. So this is the Bardo top. I'm gonna have to take my old beige bra straps down for it. Uh, it's this like champagne-y color. I wouldn't call it silver, but it's definitely not gold. It's like a beige-y, like the inside of this is beige. Um, am I kidding myself? Is it just silver? I'm gonna try this on, but I do feel nervous about this because I don't normally wear this kind of top, but let's give it a go. One, two, three. Ta-da! What magic that is. Um, hmm. I'm only looking at it in the view of the viewfinder. I haven't even looked in the mirror, looking at the TV screen there. I don't know how I feel about this. First of all, when I do this, when I close my arm, it's really itchy. Um, I know obviously sequins are not soft, but that'll annoy me. <laughs> that will annoy me a great deal. I don't know, on it looks okay, I think. I'm not sure. You're gonna have to give me your opinion. Excuse the fact that I've not tanned my back. I wasn't gonna do any twirling, um, but I couldn't reach my back. Yeah, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna try the jeans now. But my fear is that they're not going to fit. Oh, hi, here I am in my little coated jeans here. What do you think? I think these are okay. They do make a noise though, listen. And I'm worried about the old chub rub crotch fire business. I don't want to start a little an inferno in there. I like them. I think the top is bothering me. I would like your opinions. Um, what do you think? of these coated trousers, baby. Okay, I want nothing more than to take this off and we're gonna try on one of the dresses. And I'm very excited about the dresses. One of them, the spotty one, was a bit of a, oh, I wouldn't normally go for that style, but let's give it a whirl. And the other one was very my style. So I'm looking forward to it and I'm gonna try them on with these shoes. So these are Ravel, Ravel, not a brand I'm very familiar with. Um, and these are little wedges that I thought would look really nice in the summer with little dresses. I like that they have a back to them and a front, um, <laughs> you know, like as opposed to sandals. So let's give this whole combo a whirl. Okay, so this is a dress that I wouldn't normally purchase and that's because I usually go for fits that flare out. And this one is a little bit more pencil-esque. It's not a full pencil skirt because it's not tight and it also has this wrap bit here to kind of give me a little bit of grace over this area. Um, but you know what? I really, really like this dress a lot. I think that it's very elegant. Uh, I think that I could wear this to any work functions um, or I could make it a bit dressy and maybe wear it to a pub garden or something like that. I really like all the little features on it. So this, I really need to undo this and just loosen it a bit because um, I am losing the circulation to my arms right now, which is not ideal. Um, I like that it's a wrap. So if you have a bigger bust, then you've got space in here. Mine is not huge, but you know, this fits nicely. You could put a little belt on it. Um, yeah, this doesn't feel tacky or cheap it feels nice I, I like this a lot um so yes what do you think of this dress shoes wise i won't do a super close-up on shoes but um i think i'm gonna send these back and get a bigger size these feel like i've crushed my little pig trotters into them um and i think that when it's like a hot sunny day and your feet go Ugh, um <laughs> do anyone else's feet like really expand in the heat mm -hmm, yummy uh, I think that I'm gonna feel like I've tried to squeeze four tubs of Play-Doh into an extra small condom, you know? It's not gonna be a good feel. Uh, but the dress, 
love i can imagine this with a little denim jacket and lots of gold jewelry and yeah i really like this such a lot this feels like such a win and this was the one that i was thinking mm, that's probably the one that's gonna have to go back okay uh let's try on this last dress i'm not sure I need your very honest opinion on this dress. So it's a braidery anglaise dress. It has a lining underneath it. Um, it's got a drop waist, which is never my friend. Like, I don't want to drop any waist. I want to pick up the waist. Um, but the belt, I thought, maybe sort of saves it because it gives that, like, hey, I've got something here. Um, and then the sleeves are so big. Like... I could hide my children in this. I could I could carry my cats in these sleeves. I could sh shove all sorts up there. Um, I've undone it to give it like a bit of a V-neck because done up. I mean, do you like it done up? I don't know. I'm just not sure. Yeah, there we are. So I think I'm going to say in order of favourites for me, it is the spotty dress, then the cardigan of Rainbow Dreams, then the really pretty uh, pearly collared cardigan, then the trousers, then this, then the bardo top. And I really like the shoes, I just, I think I want them to be just slightly bigger. Move you up a bit. I would really like to know what your favorite thing is and what your least favorite thing is um, and what your thoughts on River Island are. I'm gonna make a little series of shopping at different places and seeing what their plus size offerings are like i know that a lot of you watching won't be plus size but they do do um, a lot of very similar pieces that they carry through into regular and tall and petite sizes as well so i'll leave a link to everything below um i'll also leave pricing below as well in case you're interested in that kind of thing but do let me know what you think of this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell um and i'm going to take this off and put maybe the rainbow cardigan on right see you very soon thank you so much for watching and i look forward to replying to your comments bye